Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. Long time no talk. It's been forever. Uh, as you can see, things are a little different here in the bedroom. If you're Canadian and you've been watching The Social or ET e Canada Live, you know that uh, Denise has painted and redone my bedroom and, uh, and there's Pearl ticking away. Nothing has changed here at uh, Shea Candy and Denise. Um, yeah, I've been really, really busy, book solid, but I do have empties piling up, so we're going to talk trash today, and this is going to be my fragrance empties, and we're going to jump right on into it. I'm going to put my glasses on because we going to do candles first. Uh, shoot, I ripped the label off this candle, but it is from Sephora, and it's one of their kind of more high-end candles, and they all come in this shape. Really nice, beautiful smell, good throw, and nice quality. Uh, you can go on Sephora and just plug in candles and this comes up pretty soon. I just can't believe I ripped off everything with a brand name on it. Of course, Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works candles. Uh, this one was for Easter. It says Happy Easter. It's got all the little bunnies on it. The lapines. And it smelled like sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Lovely. This with another one of the Easter candles. Uh, says love every bunny and it was sweet cream cheese frosting fluffy carrot cake and cinnamon spice this is from way back at Halloween but I just burned it up like maybe a month ago and I just love the pink and black it's so pretty it's called ghoul friend and it is dark strawberries ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus uh, this was another of the Easter ones has all the little chickies on it and it says let's get egg cited it is fluffy marshmallow creamy vanilla and whipped sweet cream this one was from back at Christmas but because it was pink I had it in here because my room was all pink before but I burned them all up because now I've gone to a completely blue mo motif blue and white with black accents uh, this is cool peppermint sugared snow and vanilla buttercream and finally, this one just says, you are my favorite. And it is sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. That's it for the Bath & Body Works candles. Oh no, I lie, there was two small ones. The single wicks. Oh, this is nice. I have a room to freshener, like the room fragrance spray. Oh, it's so nice. It's called Hibiscus Waterfalls. One of my favorite scents from them. Uh, these little ones don't have the description on them, but it just smells so good. And this was You Crack Me Up, and it was one of the Easter ones, too. Then I got myself another Malin and Getz. I love their candles. This one was in the uh, Vetiver. It's beautiful. Oh, even empty, you can still smell some of it. Oh, so nummy. And this is my first um, Lalabo candle. It is in Santal 26. I love the glass. Like, what a beautiful shot glass that would make. Um, I love how it came packaged and... Oh, I love the smell. I do not have any Lalabo. Um, sorry, I wasn't giving you the finger. I was trying to put my glasses up. Um, I don't have any Lalabo scent, but I think that's going to have to change. Oh, this smells so good. And the last candle that I burned was a big uh, Yankee candle, and this is in lavender. I had it burning by my bed because I try to put as much smell of lavender in my room at night as possible to try to aid my sleep. Now, what, what we would call house stinkies. Um, I've got three bottles of stuff from the atomizers. This one was cranberry, forest pine, and candy cane. And these are all by the P&J company, which we really love. And then we have two plug-ins that we used up. This one is eucalyptus rain and blue ocean waves. Really nice kind of summery smells. And that brings us down to all the perfume. And we've kind of gone through a fair amount of perfume. I'm going to put my glasses on for the tiny little testers because I used a number of testers over the last little while. 
So we'll get those out. This was by Valentino and it was called Voce Vita. Really nice, very feminine, very uh, kind of girly scent. This I think everybody knows the smell of. Um, it's Chloe. If you're going to buy somebody a perfume as a present, you kind of can't beat Chloe because I don't know anybody who doesn't like it. Now I know one of you are going to go in the comments and say you don't like it, but you know what I mean. It is not, um, it's not an offensive scent and a lot of people like it. And then there's Replica Beach Walk, uh, which I, a scent that I'm wearing a lot right now in full size. This is very close to Bobby Brown Beach. It's like if you would mix Bobby Brown Beach with Bronze Goddess, kind of, you would get this, this vibe. One of my favorite replicas, anyway. Oh, this is the uh, Nukes Prodigé. I'm never, never sure I pronounced that right, but you know how the Nukes dry oil has that beautiful smell? They now have it uh, as a fragrance. Oh my God, it's intoxicating. So good. I just ordered it in full size. And this is uh, by, by Juicy Couture. It's Viva La Juicy La Bubbly. And it smells like a typical, you know, Juicy Couture kind of scent. Then I've got two small, I have a purser spray of Coco Mademoiselle and you put like these little things inside. It's like a nice, it's a spray almost the size and color of that. Although this is the lipstick I'm wearing today, Tom Ford. Um, but these go down in it. So I used up one and then I loaded it up with another one. And I got this in my Clinique advent calendar. Um, and what is it called? Something, the, the elixir in black. You guys know what it is. It's their, oh, am I going to see it? I can't remember the name, but you know, it's in black. It's whatever their thing is, the elixir or, uh, hang on. Let me look it up. I've got my computer right in front of me because it will drive me nuts when I'm editing this that I haven't said what it actually is. Let's go to Clinique. Boom. There's the C's, there's Clinique. And then we will go to Fragrance. The Aromatics Elixir in Black. That's what this is. And I really liked it. I had never even heard of it. But a lot of you said that this is kind of like your signature scent. And I could see how it would make a great signature scent. I loved it. So then I'll do Denise's uh, Stinkies first, which she has used up. And then I'll do mine. So she used up a uh, full thing of this all over body spray in Oud Wood by Tom Ford. She, this is her favorite scent of all time. So at Christmas, she usually gets a lot of stuff like this for me. And then I bought her um, this at, in the advent calendar, you'll recall, I bought her this uh, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And she enjoyed that. It smelled lovely on her, actually. I really liked it on her. And then she used up a big bottle of her Tom Ford Oud Wood, of course. And I have two full bottles that I used up. Um, I had this in my collection a long time. It is Three L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Ooh, thunder and lightning out. I love it. And this is a lovely fruity floral. And I really enjoyed it. Once I started using it, I was like, why did I wait so long to use this? And I just kept using it every day until I used the whole thing up. And I really love the smell of it. And I love that bottle. It's super heavy and it's just so simple and beautiful. And the final thing, I know this is a quick one, but I've got two gigs today. I just did one. I got another one I'm doing. I wanted to squeeze this in the middle, so I didn't want to yak on too long, but just kind of tell you what we've been using up uh, scent wise. Um, this is one I almost always have in my collection. I will probably replace it. It's Philosophus by Diptyque, and it is just a beautiful fig scent. It's unisex. Um, and it's just one of those classics. I really, really love it. I love the candle. I love the scent. It's one of those ones where like you could wear that to the gym and you wouldn't offend anybody, that kind of thing. And the final thing I wanted to show you, I didn't use this perfume yet, but I am getting rid of the box and I thought, 
I gotta show them the box before I get rid of it because it's so special. I bought my first Swiss Arabian scent. I bought, uh, I'm gonna butcher this, I know, but Ser Al Shaila. It looks like Sheila, but I think it's pronounced Shaila. So it came in this gorgeous box. And then when you open it, it's got a write-up about the scent and then this lovely velvet area that it sits in. And I just thought it was so beautifully packaged. I wanted to share that with you. And one more thing I'll share before I end this. Pearl, stop walking. One more thing that I will share before I end this. I got my first um, Fragrances de Bois perfume. It's the Demi Rawling perfume. I don't know if you all watch her. Uh, she's a fragrance person that I like to watch. She's just a baby. She start, I think when I started watching her, she was 18. I think she might be 20 or 21 now. Um, and she partnered up. Her name's, she goes by Demi, but it's Demi. So they called the scent Minuit et Demi. So I have like half past midnight, which is so cool. And the packaging, I just have to show you because it just came in yesterday. Thank you. So um, this is the box that comes in. It has the little sleeve here and uh, there's Demi's picture on the back. And then you take the sleeve off. This reminds me of my Rolex. My Rolex came packed all fancy like this. Uh, and there's this beautiful box. So then you open this box. And this box has a little front flap that comes down so that you can see the velvet box and grab the velvet box inside and then when you open the velvet box dun, da, 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 there she is your little authenticity thing is here and this is like a little box a cardboard box in here the perfume is gorgeously packaged as well but here's what's brilliant i had a few like uh, Gallagher perfume sent a fancy silk box like this, but the problem is you got the shape of this perfume, so it's really kind of hard to use it afterwards. They're brilliant. They put these two little tabs so that you can actually take that out and reuse this box after to keep jewelry in or whatever you like. Anyway, it is beautiful. I would call it, I would describe it as a smoky gourmand, and I'm so glad that I got it. And I don't think it's going to be my last um fragrance de bois really nice and that's it that brings us to the end of this fragrance empty empties i know it's quick and dirty but i just wanted to get something up for you because i know it's been forever just know that i am working like crazy and um i will do a little vlog at some point to show you what the room looks like now it's lovely thanks very much give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh leave your comments down below and we'll see you in the next one bye it's